Hello, <coughs> hello everybody, and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. And this tutorial, we're going to be learning about multiple inheritance. Now, before all you guys that really know about programming or whatever come and start putting in rude comments on why I'm teaching multiple inheritance, blah, 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 I'll explain why. Multiple inheritance is a part of the C++ language and uh, can be useful if you know how to use it properly. Now, there's some other areas of the C++ language that I, I won't be teaching, like the friend class and stuff, which is so rare, you are probably never going to see it or hardly ever going to see it. But uh, at multiple inheritance, this is the rule of thumb with multiple inheritance. It is if you can prove and have a legitimate reason why multiple inheritance would be regular would be better than regular inheritance or uh, what is it called again yeah it's called composition and I just sorry I had to pause that because I had to search that up so if you can prove that multiple inheritance in that situation is better than inheritance or composition and you can search up what composition means um, on Google is, is really simple uh, but if you can prove which one is that it is better then you use multiple inheritance if not use regular inheritance languages such as C sharp or Java or something like that like true object oriented programming languages don't really incorporate a multiple inheritance because you can run in, run into a lot of problems uh, one of them could be I don't remember what the error is called but it's like a diamond error or something like that where you do multiple inheritance and basically you get a loop of inheritance and then it slows down the program might ruin some functionality etc etc and I, I'll show you something that you'll get into a problem with right now but I'll show you how to incorporate multiple inheritance so if you want to inherit from more than one class is really know what inheritance does it copies everything except for like the operators and the constructors and private variables uh, uh private variables and methods so it copies all that and then pastes it in that class so if we put a comma and we put an access specifier uh we can get it from somewhere else uh right but if you notice right here, I get an error, player health is ambiguous, uh, because it doesn't know which one you're referring to, if you're referring to the entity health or the enemy health, because they both have the same names. Uh, so you could get into some uh, errors uh, with that as well. I'm not sure if you can distinguish between the two if you do that. Yeah, I believe you can. So you can run into little errors like that that you... Uh, whatever but in most cases whenever you're programming you really don't need to do multiple inheritance but multiple inheritance is every time you want to inherit from more than one class you just put a comma put the access specifier and then you put um, the name of the class you're inheriting from uh, so this tutorial is uh, fairly simple uh, nothing more to it I just want to let you know about the functionality in the future uh, for those beginner programmers I wouldn't worry too much about it because you might use it in a wrong sense not uh, not bashing beginner programmers but if you multiple inheritance the use of it is for more advanced uses I would say because they really know when the functionality is needed over when it is not needed so anyways uh, that is it for this short tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something so thanks for watching and bye